Determine whether the equation is exact. If it is, then solve it. So we have t over y dy plus 1 plus ln y dt equals 0. So what I like to do usually is if I have an independent variable dt, I'd rather put it on the left side so that we could pair it with m, since usually the typical form would be on the left side dx, the right side dy. So this becomes 1 plus ln y. Let's put a parentheses around that. dt plus t over y dy equals 0. All we did was just rearrange this. Now let's mark the m term and the n term in front of dt dy. And to prove that this is an exact equation, all we do is take the partial derivative of m with respect to the dependent variable y, which is also equivalent to del m del y. And if we can see here, the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of ln y becomes 1 over y, since it's with respect to y. Now let's do the opposite with n of t, and this is equivalent to del n del t. And since we are differentiating with respect to x, the 1 over y is a constant. And that would be times derivative of just t, which is 1. And that also becomes 1 over y. Therefore, m of y equals n of t. And we can call this an exact equation. Now, let's move on to the calculations. To determine the parent function f of x comma y, we need to take the integral of m with respect to t, its own you know variable, and that equals the integral of 1 plus ln y dt. Integral of 1 dt is just t, and the integral of ln y dt would be t plus t ln y, since ln y is simply constant in the eyes of t. And this will be added with a g of y functional constant. And here is most of our answer, but we still need to find g of y. To do that, we need to take the partial derivative of the parent function f with respect to the other dependent variable y. This equals the derivative of t with respect to y is just 0 since t is a constant. And again, here t is a constant. However, ln y, the derivative of that, as we found out before, is 1 over y. And remember, you're multiplying by the constant t, so it's t over y plus g prime of y. This is equivalent to the n term. So let's rewrite that here, t over y plus g prime of y equals n, which equals t over y. The t over y's cancel, and we are left with g prime of y equals 0. Remember, for the parent function, we need g of y, not g prime of y. So let's integrate that. Integral of 0 dt equals some constant k. We don't want to use c yet since c will be applied at the end of the equation. So if we take the derivative of k, we will definitely be given 0. So now we can find the general solution, f of x comma y equals what we found up here, t plus t ln y plus k equals c. This is not an initial value problem. We are not given any points for this function. Therefore, we can't, you know, figure out what c is. This is technically correct. We can rewrite this and absorb the uh, constant here onto the right side. It becomes t plus t ln y equals c. All we're doing is letting c equal c minus k. But this is a more proper way of writing it due to the fact that we don't want two constants you know, to the left and right of each other. This is the most simplified form. Therefore, the solution to this equation is t plus t ln y equals c. I hope this makes it a little more clear for you. 
If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below, and good luck.